What's up guys, in this video I want to show you how you can overlay a wireframe render onto your actual render. This is very useful, especially if you want to showcase the topology of your model or um, any other reason really. So this is super easy to do. I am borrowing a bit of info from Default Cube's earlier tutorial from December 2019. I'll link it in the description, there's, um, there's a piece of info in there that he taught me, so I want to make sure I give credit to him, but he didn't quite show how to fully overlay it onto a uh, original render, so that's what most of this video is going to be about. I'll show you the full process, so uh, props to him for that one. Uh, anyways, what you want to do, I'm going to go through this really quickly because it's simple. You want to go into, into Blender here. And right off the bat, you want to delete everything from your scene. When I say everything, I mean everything except your camera and model. Now, um, I would recommend saving as a separate file for this one, just in case. So I'm going to delete out everything, the backdrop, the lights, and I'm also going to remove the HDRI from here. All I want is the model and the camera. Okay, cool. Now, any materials you have on the model, you need to remove as well. So in this case, I'm just going to click the minus key and then add on a brand new material to this one. Now, this material needs to be an emissive material and you'll see why in a second. So change it from principled over to emission and drop this to black, that's all you have to do. So basically, once you've done that, you should have just your silhouette basically. And I also have some decals in here I can probably get rid of. Yeah, you should just have the silhouette here and the camera, that's all you need. Now what we need to do is go here to the render panel and turn on freestyle all the way at the bottom and then go to the layers panel here and um, turn on freestyle under, under this one and um, basically you have to go in here to freestyle line style and this is where we can actually change the color so in my case I want to have a white to wireframe render to overlay you can make this any color you want I'd recommend making it white just so that way you can change it in the future and I'll show you why um, in just a bit, I would really recommend keeping this on white though. So click on color right here, change this to white, and what we're gonna do is make sure these edge types up here are set to edge mark only. And um, this is where I, I learned a little trick from CG Matter on this one, so thank you for that. And basically what we wanna do is tab into edit mode for our model and go to select everything. Actually, I don't know if everything is selected or not, but Either way, press F3 and then type in Mark Freestyle and then it should come up here. Mark Freestyle Edge, not Face, but Edge. And you're going to see exactly what happens here. And this is important because this is what's going to actually allow us to display this in our render. So you're going to do that and we're done. This is all you have to do. So now we just have to press the F12 key and give it a second to render out. It should be pretty quick because this is a... Um, you know, there's no light really affecting this, it's just a very simple black color that's to render, so give it a second. And if it's not working for you, most likely you've probably followed one of my older tutorials where I show you um, in the compositor, if you go up here, if you're using the AI denoiser, you need to make sure this noisy image is not connected up. It is instead the main image because that's what we care about. And now if you re-render it, it should actually display as expected. And here we go. Now if you want to change the width of the lines, you can easily do that by going into the render panel here. And if I were to change this to two pixels and re-render, we're going to have some thicker lines. So you can always adjust that if you want to. So um, now what you want to do is whatever pixel size you use, I don't care. Um, once you're happy with the wireframe, you're going to go up here to image and then save as. And basically, um, I'd recommend saving this to just a PNG so that way you keep the transparency. And then we'll bring it into Photoshop. Okay, so let's talk about exactly how I overlaid the wireframe on here. It's really easy. So I'm just going to delete this so that way we can start from scratch. And then you're going to go up here to File and then open up your wireframe render. Here it is. And then essentially this is, this is super easy. Um, you just go in here to this background eraser tool, set it to discontiguous, and just make your brush size really big. You can hold Alt and right click as well. Make it really big so it encapsulates your entire model and then just click and you're basically going to have like the outline here which is pretty cool now let's say you want to change the color like right now technically you could just copy and paste this to your actual render right and it would overlay just fine um, but let's say you wanted to change the color actually I'll do it in here just because we're already pretty much done on this one so you know you copy paste to your actual render 
and the way you can change the color is super easy. We're going to go to this little icon down here and click on solid color and this is basically just going to give you a random solid color. You can make this any color you want. Let's say red for example and then you just go in here Alt, just hold the Alt key, then if you hover between these two layers here and click, this will actually clip it to the layer below it. So that way, anytime you want to change the color of your wireframe, you double click here and you can literally change it to any color you want, which is super cool. And this is really useful, especially if you want to display this as a, as a render. Now I do prefer just a simple white color because it's nice and easy. And we can of course make the opacity a bit lower if we, you know, Think this is a bit too strong we just drop the opacity and we're good to go um, you should probably drop the opacity on the actual layer not the clipping layer so this one yeah just drop the opacity to wherever you want basically and that is how you can control how harsh the effect is you could also drop this to a different blood mode maybe like um, soft light here and then play with that all sorts of different things you could do to kind of customize this but this is really all you need super easy um, it's especially useful if you have the render already made and you want to overlay the actual wireframe this is what I prefer to do as you can see here so that's it for the video hope it helped you out and I'd love to see what you guys come up with with your render so I'll see you in the next video